Hello people of YouTube, episode 5 of Virtual On, here's your little review thing. And this will be the last one for the week, considering this review series is going to be during the weekdays. Just so I can have some time of getting ahead of schedule with the weekend, so yeah. Uh, anyway, hey, what happens in this one? Uh, we get to learn the fallout of what happens after Link's summoning. That's the main f driving force. Ivan immediately reveals that he's Ivan, in which case, why would you not can tell people that you're Edward? I mean, you could... I know you probably couldn't do a great Edward impersonation, but you could have freaking just fooled people for a while. Like, this feels like it could have gone a bit more further than somewhere than just, uh, hi guys, I'm Ivan, I've done my one thing, so I can be given up now. But, <laughs> I don't know. It feels like you could have done more. Other than that, we found out that Ivan is now using a cyber stick, but then he gets destroyed by freaking Dartha with his ancient gears. So, yeah. And then, I... And then Ivan dies, and then Edward takes control again. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire thing. Well, not the entire thing. There is more in terms of Ivan teach Dartha how to Link summon, and Dartha doesn't want anything to do with this new summoning mechanic. So <laughs> he hates Link monsters. A.K.A. Dartha is officially all the Yu-Gi-Oh! community when Link monsters were announced. Oh, this will kill Yu-Gi-Oh! Because, as we all know, whenever there's a new summoning mechanic, it is going to be the end of Yu-Gi-Oh! forever. Like... If you make a new summoning mechanic, Yu-Gi-Oh! is officially dead. And, step, and then when you find out the Yu-Gi-Oh! game is still alive, they don't even have to apologize. They're like, sorry guys, we were wrong. This isn't the death of Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! is still going strong. I guess we were wrong the entire time. Instead, what happens is when the next summoning mechanic comes out, they get to be like, oh, it's the death again! Even though you were wrong the last time. So why would... Even though you were wrong the last four fucking times, why would you be wrong... Why would you suddenly be right this time? I'll tell you when we know Yu-Gi-Oh! is dying. What happens when Yu-Gi-Oh! is dying is what ha is simple. If the TV show stops, or any of the series, like, Brains gets cancelled, or maybe, like, finishes its season, and this turns out to be the final season of all the Yu-Gi-Oh! series as a whole, that is a red flag. Because, say what you want about the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, it does give them some of their money. Because kids like this whole something like the big powerful monsters and like how cool they look and they want to play the game for themselves. So yes, the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime does do something good for the series. So yeah, if that thing gets cancelled, that's a red flag in terms of like, oh no, maybe there is a problem going on here. Like you could see as Konami wanting to save money, but then sometimes you gotta spend money to make money. So yeah, only if the Yu-Gi-Oh! series gets cancelled will I put up a red flag of like, this is a bad sign. This is a very bad sign. Because think about it, Arc 5 got terrible ratings towards the end there. It got freaking lambasted by fans and got destroyed by everyone. And to the point where everyone considers it the worst series of Yu-Gi-Oh! just because of the potential it missed out on. And that, and after that, we still get another series of brains. yu gi the Konami still had enough faith in the people who make Yu-Gi-Oh! after what happened with Arc 5, in order to make another series after that. So think about that. Even after a disaster that was Arc 5, they still had enough faith in the same company. And they still contracted them for another series. So yeah, if Yu-Gi-Oh is dying, how would they go with that? But anyway, I'm ranting. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have to get that out of my system, because I'm so sick of the whole Yu-Gi-Oh is dying cliche. It's been around for freaking ever. I swear to God, when, ever, when Synchro Summoning was first made, that was the beginning of the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! is dying in phase. You know, because, you know, we're, it's just... Oh, God. Mm. I'm sorry. That, this turned more into a rant than an actual review. The episode's by as a whole, it just made, got up so many freaking old, like, pet peeves of mine, I guess you could put them as. But it just really ticked me off. No, the episode itself is good. It's a good freaking way to introduce Link monsters into everyone. Not just people who, who, like, maybe, not just people who already know what Link Summoning is and not just for the series, for people who don't know what Link Summoning is and maybe like Virtual On over watching something like Brains. Like, this is good for teaching them as well. Even though they probably still have no idea what's going on. Then again, Brains wasn't good at, very good at teaching you how to Link Summon either, considering it just did things without explaining them. Cause some, cause they didn't even tell you that you can link summon using other link monsters. They just assumed you knew. So yeah. Ugh. Other than that, the episode as a whole, I guess if I had to give it a rating, it would be like a seven out of ten. Like, the entire thing is just focused on introducing link monsters. So you know, if you're not behind that, it's just more of an introduction, like a tutorial episode. So I guess you could maybe give it fine. It's fine enough. Dart does banter with Ivan's fine enough. And now that we have a new summoning mechanic, it'll now slow down that dragon priestess who's trying to kill us all. 
because we only now remember he exists. But other than that, just not that, you know, not much. So, but there's enough for me. At least it isn't just 100% backstory. So, yeah. And all that said, this is the great day of setting off, and that's the end of this review and this rant. Bye!